This is the calibration process for the LP1000N. Now in order to start the process, first thing you want to do is go ahead and remove the platter from the scale in order to have access to your calibration plate with two sealing bolts. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver in order to go ahead and remove these sealing bolts from the top of the scale. So after you screw these out, you'll have access to your calibration port. All right, now that we removed the sealing bolts and the calibration plate, we have access to this switch located underneath. We're going to need something to stick in there, just so a pen or you know anything that's pointy, so that we can slide this switch to the left-hand side. Now that we've slid that back to the left-hand side, we're going to want to go ahead and put the platter back on the scale. Next step is for you to locate the power switch on the left-hand side of the scale, which is right here, in order to turn the scale on. It'll go directly into cal mode. Now that we're in cal mode, what we're going to want to do is press the number 3 key. This is your zero calibration. It will say unload on the top of the scale. So now with no weight on the platter, you want to make sure you just press the print key in order to do your zero calibration. Now count up. After it stabilizes, it'll go to load. Now that we're at load, we're ready to calibrate. We're going to need 30 pounds of weight for an accurate calibration of the LP1000N. So I'm going to place my weight on the scale, 5 pounds, 10 pounds, and 20 pounds to make 30. Now we're going to wait for this to get in a good range. It's going to bounce around a bit. It's never going to stop on one exact number. Once you're in a steady range, you want to press the print key. It'll count up. Once it gets to 10, it'll give you a single beat. Once you hear that single beat, you're now calibrated. So now you want to remove your weight from the scale. After you remove your weight from the scale, you just want to find that power switch on the side, turn it off. Once you do so, remove your platter again in order to have access to that switch. Now you're gonna to wanna to slide that switch back to the right side in order to put it back into the regular weight mode. And we're gonna place the platter back on the scale in order to test our weight. So we're gonna power it up, wait for it to count up, go into the weight mode. Going through our count now. Once we get into the regular weight mode, we wanna test our weight. So here's five pounds, stable. Another five pounds, we're stable. And now 20 pounds. And we're stable, 30 pounds. We are now fully calibrated. And this is the calibration of the LP1000N. Now we're gonna remove our weight as the last step in order to put this calibration plate back. Remove that platter, place that plate back on top of the scale, get your sealing bolts, make sure you get those back in, place your platter back on the scale, and you're all set and ready to go. That's it.